Where are we at? The new Dam Bam household. Estate. Yeah. Jurger Estate. <laughs> What's, What's up, up Dam Fam? Welcome back to our channel. Baby, what are we going to show them today? Our house tour! The it long is awaited our house tour. Jurger Estate house tour, baby. Guys, we are all settled here. It is a beautiful December evening. Uh, the sun is setting right over our heads, as you nice can see. Nice and chilly. Yeah, it's All the cool. leaves have fallen. How cold is it right now? Like 47, 8? 40s, 40s, yeah. High like 40s, high 40s. Yeah. So it's a little chilly. We're in our jackets. Um, but, I mean, without further ado, should we just start Let's showing do it. everything? Let's just Guys, we're, we're standing in front of our gate, which is not much of a gate. Um, <laughs> babe, you want to do the. Uh, yeah, the hold honor? on. Let me get on the other side. Welcome. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That was pretty epic, actually. Nice. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed the moving vlog. That was a pretty, oh, that was a pretty stressful time in our lives, and um, we made it through. Yeah, <laughs> barely. It was but pretty we did. crazy. We did it. As you guys could probably see, we were on the um, brink of oh my gosh, I exhaustion. Look like, I look so bad. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we were but we both made just it. Like dead. We made it. We were we were but power was, troopers. But it was sure. also like true and honest and like. If you're driving across country, like, are you going to try to get ready every day and, like, try to do your makeup just to drive 12 hours a day? The you know, answer is so no, real people. And the it was honest, no. and that's how I'm going to look at, <laughs> at myself in that video. <laughs> but, guys, welcome to our new home, to our new property. It is on 10 acres, or just under 10 acres, I think we told you in our sit-down video. I'll give you a Ooh, little, cool. little peek of the driveway. This is the driveway coming up. It kind of spirals all around a, a hill going low because if you can tell we're up really really high we right. live in the mountains we live in there yeah the mountains are way better than the hills so the mountains are we like mountain people <laughs> mountain men mountain women people you kind of look like kanye and and uh <laughs> and lil uh what's his name little pete little punk. Wait, what little, little pump remember the roblox people here i'm gonna insert a photo right here Wait, what <laughs> that's what you look like <laughs> <laughs> is that a good it's thing cute, or a bad baby. thing? It's so cute and pretty. Anyway, guys, as you can see, we are up pretty high. And when we moved in, it was summertime. Well, I guess the end of the summer. So this was all covered in green. So you, we really couldn't see anything. So we didn't even really realize how how high we were yeah. until, uh, you know, all the leaves fell. And yeah, it's Mount Yerger, baby. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cool because we kind of get like 360 degree views all around the property and the nicest thing that i'm sure daisy loves is that it is 10 acres of manageable land so that you don't have to do all the yard work and all the landscaping you mean so you don't have to do it <laughs> that was the joke no i'm i'm very happy that it's it's like two three acres flat on the top so that that's kind of what i gotta mow and weed eat and blow and and do all that so it's not it's not the whole 10 acres of farmland a lot of people when we tell them uh the land we got they they picture tractors and horses and whatever so it's none yeah, of that like, oh you got 10 acres in tennessee <laughs> yeah all right guys i want to show you my actually i might i might say this is like my top three favorite things of the house or it will be so keep in mind guys the house was built in 1978 it has really not been renovated <laughs> hardly at all since not then so we've got a lot of work to do which as you guys know was our goal from the very beginning we really want to make something our own and go through that transformative um, project so we're excited for that and this is one of the really really cool parts of the home that will uh that will look amazing once we design it I'm not really sure what it was made for, to be honest. Ring the bell. I don't know if I can. <laughs> How about this, guys? This patio. Isn't it incredible? 
Yes. It's incredible. And I don't really know what it was built here for, but it's amazing. And I and what do we want to do, babe? To the bottom. <laughs> what we want to do right over here. Cameraman. We want to do like an outdoor kitchen type of thing with like an outdoor bar and like an island and then like we want to do like a um what is that a pizza oven? Yeah. Like a outdoor we want to pizza turn this oven into a pizza oven because it's it's really just like a fireplace right now with a chimney. And then we want to put like a um, like an outdoor table right here. Then it's like pretty like a pretty like picnic overhead style thing with, with like a a ivy coming side, down. Yeah. Right, and then seats on the other with like a, a lattice um, overhang with ivy. Yeah, with like ivy coming yeah. down. And then we want to trim these trees so you can see the valley like in the view from down there. And then over there in that side. We want to build like one of those built-in fireplaces where like the bench is like built in. A fire pit. Yeah. yeah. Um, where the bench is like built into the corner. Yeah. But if, if you guys can picture like a big nice bench of stone built in with like some mats and pillows and all that and then like a, a nice big fire pit built in here, we think would be really awesome. I even think it could be cool to build like a, you know, a shelter or a roofed part of it so that we could like mount a TV and, and watch the game or... I don't know what movies out here or something like that. And then that barn is terrifying. The spiders in there. Oh my goodness. The demons that could be in there. Yeah, right. Mama. So this area we want to kind of keep as a little outdoor kitchen since this would be where the um, food entertaining Wait, would babe, go. You know what I realized the other day? What's up? We have this like lower area like that goes past our fence that is just flat and there used to be like a fence and it was like you could walk to there from there really? so like oh, there's wow. flat land all the way from here oh over cool there. i can see that you see yeah. what i mean yeah there's like legitimate farms across the street it's pretty crazy yeah we always catch the dogs barking at the cows they'll like escape while they used to escape and they would go and go bark at the cows the and that's how i would find them because i'd hear them barking we had to put in an electric fence um on kind of the the upper part of the property which they're now trained on so they will get buzzed if they try and go do that again but it's just we because, had like, some it's scary because we have a really busy road that's like kind of next to us well yeah and we were uh, scared shitless i mean what there was one night in the rain and yeah. then i would hear a bark and then that's how i found them the first time out yeah. there and we got them Apple Air tags on their collars, but that doesn't really track them that well because it it pings off of other people's Bluetooth. So if they're just in the in the woods randomly, they're not going to pick up on anybody's signal. So that was a little frustrating because that's that was you know what we bought it for. And they would but. Like find ways to hop the fence in the backyard. Yeah. All right, guys. So here is where the driveway comes up, and we do get kind of a motor cord action, so you can do a full spin. And then back here is some more nice woods and then back to the parking pad. But here is our beautiful new home. It is a beautiful large home. It's just under 6,000 square feet, so it is a tank. Um, but <laughs> it, it, uh, it's got a few wasp nests in it, some spiders, you know, some, some mice, you know, casual, casual some stuff. Windows that don't shut. Actually, you guys already saw the mouse. So one thing we are really, really excited about, a top priority for us to start replacing on the home would be doors and windows. So, and, and like I said, eventually we are completely redoing the entire thing both exterior interior all that and we want to keep like hand handcrafted wood molding and stuff but as far as like the tudor brick yeah. style we're gonna uh kind of completely go tuscan big european on it yeah we're gonna do like big bay windows instead of these little ones like we're gonna modern. stucco this part and then we're gonna um put the all the brick parts in stone and lay stone over it um, eventually a slate roof, but that's a, it's a pretty hefty, <laughs> hefty price tag for that. So we're, we're going to work towards it. There's this kind of cool little rose garden that they called it, but we want to eventually take this crepe myrtle out and put a big giant Greek or Roman statue, which was my idea. Unfortunately, little bubbies along with it. Yeah. Yeah. And then this just leads us right up to the front door 
and we have had the most trouble getting packages or Uber Eats or anything to our home because at night it's kind of hard to find and they leave it at like a home way down the road or they just don't ever find our home and don't even call to you try it and leave with our food. Right? And I'll call them and be like, are you guys okay? <laughs> yeah, and we have to instruct them usually on how to get here. Um, but our UPS drivers, Amazon drivers, they all get here just fine and we get all our packages. True. Like at nighttime, it's probably so different because there's like no. But our mail person leaves our packages in the rain, like by our mailbox in How the rain. Rude. How rude, lady! Come on. I had to go also, into the post office to ask. I, I was like, guys. I want to show you all something. We are protected by ADT. Just letting you know. In case any of you little. We are protected by the Second <laughs> Amendment, rats here in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So here's a little bit closer look of the home. So it's got kind of that cool patina copper, which I'm sure Daisy's gonna want to keep. Do you want to do like the crib style tour? Hi, my name's Daisy Kitch, and welcome to my crib. Okay. All right, she's she's making it official. Hi, I'm Daisy Kitch, and welcome to my crib. Okay, so we'll start with these stairs because that's an immediate eyesore. As you can see, they were covered in this nasty shaggy carpet, as is most of the home. I just want to clarify, Nast it's not like nasty when it's brand new, like I'm sure with certain homes it looks good, like I grew up with that kind of carpet. No, that carpet, there is dog pee, there is like, like no, bugs, like there's, it's actually nasty. Yeah. Like, it, and I wake up every morning. As you can hear, I'm, I'm very congested right now from this. Um, and then here is dining. My goal, I want to keep like the same table for like our entire life. Because then you see all the marks, like this is our, me and Michael's first dining table. And then it'll be our kids and then grandkids. And I'll be like, the kids will be like, oh my gosh, I ate on this table. <laughs> it is a, a solid my table. So. Julius threw a fork at his sister. Oh my God. God, that sounds dangerous. So we're kind of oh. just been throwing things randomly. here and there. Yeah, randomly. Placed. I mean, I'm sure y'all get it. You've moved before. All right, guys. Here is our favorite room. It's a little gloomy right now. Let me turn on the light. Um, guys, this is our favorite room, mainly because of this massive window wall. And I mean, keep in mind, in the 70s, for that to have been built, it, yeah. it was pretty extravagant. I think so. To this redo, was a really nice house back in the day. To redo what they what they did with that, with like a, you know, kind of a aluminum or steel window wall, would be really really sick. So anyway, it's kind of this cool bi level drop down type feel, which I love because it feels kind of like a courtyard. Come on, Bob. We're gonna knock out these railings. And then you see these stairs, we're gonna make them go like all the way across the room. And we're gonna knock that whole wall out. And like Daisy's saying, these steps we're gonna run all the way like that. So kind of in a big L. And then the railings and the post wall go, so it'll kind of be this one big open feel with the, with the steps. And I think we're gonna do kind of like an outdoor tile in here. I um, mean, this is obviously all the carpet that's coming out. We um, want the tile to flow out to the outside, so it's yeah. just like, when you have the doors open, it just feels like an indoor outdoor vibe. Yeah, and then here is the kitchen. It's a pretty great size kitchen. Just needs a little bit of remodeling. Um, but here we're gonna do a breakfast nook and, uh, and get rid of this island and do kind of a built-in breakfast table over here. And then that wall will go. So we're gonna kind of move, cause that's currently our pantry. We're gonna move our pantry into this room over here, which I'll show you in a second. Um, island will bring out a little bit, maybe do like a second tier with some bar stools on one side and then, you know, redo the whole kitchen area because it is kind of tight in here. It's just hard if she's cooking and I'm like trying to do a dish or, you know, get yeah. some out of the fridge. The other thing is the sink. It's like, this is like too wide for this because when I do dishes, it'll like splat Splash the water, water. all over me because yeah. this is like too far out. Yeah. I don't want it to seem like we're doing a lot of complaining because this is already no, a beautiful we're just home. Saying, like everything that yeah. we are excited to change and to like turn into our own dream. Exactly, because yeah. like we've been living in this now for what a couple months, and it's and it's safe and it's been an amazing tornadoes. home. Yeah, 
it endured a tornado. Um, but it, it's just outdated and the carpet especially is what bothers us. So that's why that is priority numero uno. And then the windows will be a close second. Ain't that right? Here is Corn Nuts Domain. Oh, there's Mr. Corny yes, Boy. Yes. Hey, buddy. Oh, have you peed on your towel yet again? He didn't actually. Really? Hi, little guy. Hello, buddy. Hello. Here's Moody and Harley. Here's. Hey, 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 off the grass. Good girl. What's up, bubbies? Hi there. All right, guys, so here is the sunroom. It gets really, really nice natural light, which is amazing. Yeah. So this will kind of become an extension of the kitchen. So we're going to bring in. Bring in the pantry all to this area. We're gonna do countertops and cabinets and we're gonna close off these windows, keep the door, do like a mudroom kind of bench area over here and then do full window wall here. So all the way to the ceiling. Anyway, but I really like this room. I think it'll be a very great, oh yeah. <laughs> um, a really great organizational kind of yeah. household area. Definitely. And then here is the garage, one of my favorite places in the house. So it's a two-car garage right now, but with this built-in elevator lift, whatever it is, um, we can only fit one right now. So um, it is a great size, and then we currently have the gym stuff back here. But uh, eventually we want to knock this out and do some nice cabinetry and do epoxy flooring and enclose all of this so that it's nice um, drywall. And unfortunately, the garage reno comes late on the priority list. <laughs> Last. Although for me, it would be before our bedroom. Are you serious? Just kidding. Here are our bubbies and that parking pad. And then I'm really stoked because I get a shed. And I grew up with a shed where I used to spray paint airsoft guns. And um, <laughs> there she is. Oh, she wants to say hi. What's up, guys? Um, so anyway, I'm super, super stoked to have this currently has all of my tools and other random stuff. Why are you bugging? <laughs> what do you need? What do you need? Anyway guys, here is the backyard. So there's the living room, there's the sunroom, there's the kitchen, and it's a, a nice, nice area with a big old pool. Big old pool. That, but over time I want to change the pool to be like a big rectangle and raise like those French ones with the stone. Ooh. Vibes. Oh, back to the kitchen. I love this fridge. It's actually such a nice fridge. I love it. Excuse our messy pantry, but I love this fridge. It's so nice. It's a sub zero. Yeah, baby. And it actually has really nice appliances already. Guys, here is our wet bar with a ton of booze that we never drink. So if anybody wants to come over for a. We are so the wrong people to have like to be gifted alcohol and it happens all the time. Well, I'm not, but <laughs> but I, I don't do enough drinking to put a dent in all that, so. Um, powder room, laundry room. You hit the lights for me, bud. Bing bong, all right. <laughs> and then here is our bedroom. So we get really amazing light all day. It's pretty epic. Oh, it's cozy. Oh, you look cozy, bud. Should we stop filming and just take a nap? Sure. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, that was a nice nap. Oh, all right, guys. Back to the tour. Here is my fat ass TV that I got up on the wall. And if any of you guys are gamers, I finally got a PS5. I haven't had a console since I was a and little bit of And he's been boy. gaming. I've been hardly like able. Day. A hardly able to scratch the surface. Are you kidding me? I've barely played anything. You like wake up, and that's the first thing you do when you wake up, and it's like right before you go to bed, that's what you do. That's, and it's like in the middle of the day. That's such lies. So that's you know such that's lies. Uh, but she doesn't want me to show you no, her office, messy. but I'm no, showing you her dare office. You. Rude. This I'm is Daisy's office. Closet. That's fine. And look at how much of a little piggy she is. You little piglet. You little tiny piglet. You know what? I'm busy. Yeah, busy, busy, busy. All right, guys, we got his and hers closets, which I will save you. Um, Here uh, is his messy closet. Mine, hold on, mine is not that bad. It's really not that bad. Look, all the clothes are folded. <laughs> it's pretty clean if you ask me. Why don't we look at yours? 
<laughs> little sausage. Yeah, look at those. Little sausage? Why are you calling me a sausage? <laughs> Yo, cute little sausage. Oh. Okay, guys. To, so to show you the bedroom, I mean, excuse me, bathroom. Look at how weird it is. There's like this giant corner cabinet thing. This wood built-in corner cabinet thing. <laughs> Which is very odd. Like a small little toilet. There's a little tiny toilet. But it matches the sinks in the bathtub. These countertops, I don't know if you guys can tell, like, look look at look at where the counter comes up on me. <laughs> and then there's this like kind of crazy mirrored wall. And it's like to wash your face, you feel like completely <laughs> bent over. And then look. <laughs> So we've got a few things we need to change in here. And then the shower is is uh, is great. It's very short, so my head is like kind of right here, so I have to do a little squat. I did already replace the nozzle, but these knobs you have to like you have to kind of press in to turn on and off. So um, bathroom needs some work. Big jacuzzi tub, haven't used it. I'm kind of afraid to use it. I don't Me know too. I feel like a, like a spike is going to come out uh, Yeah, I don't know what's going to come out of there. And then here's Daisy's cute little beauty station. All right, guys. And then here is my office. Contrary to Daisy, it's much neater with a nice stack of mail that I need to go through. So um, this is my temporary little workstation. Why which did you say contrary to Daisy's? Just because I wanted to poke you. You're annoying. I'm in a mood right now. I know you are. <laughs> I love you. And then here is this other weird little like sitting room and then another bathroom, which is really weird to me. It's just really random and then like kind of scary in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh <So>. my God. <coughs> I just breathe something. Out. <laughs> and then it opens up to the living room. So it's just this really weird like. And this is the whole master loop. wing. So we're thinking that we can just knock out this entire section and have like a big, just a master bathroom closet area. And then here Maybe we've eight. got our covered hot tub and then that pool. It's got this cool little gazebo. And then, um, so you can see kind of the view in the backyard. What's wrong, bub? All right, here we go. Do a nice tour of the upstairs. You film my yeah. Come on. All right, so if you will join me to the first bedroom, as we like to call bedroom number one, Daisy's other boyfriend has been sleeping in here. <laughs> and uh, this has such a nice view of the sunset of everything, so we're going to do a big bay it's window right. here. Yeah, but you can kind of see that's the view of the front yard. Um, anyway, so this is a really great size room, walk in closet bathroom and then this bathroom jack and jill's such good light. into the second bedroom so we're going to close this bathroom off here we're going to wall it off redo the shower and toilet and then redo this area all as a bathroom for that bedroom and then in here there's a walk-in closet that we're going to turn into a shower and There's another closet in here too. So anyway, we'll kind of wall this off and turn this whole area uh, into this bedroom's bathroom. This one's a little smaller, um, but still a good space indeed. Bedroom number three. Um, I'm clearly in the process of cleaning this. And then um, there's nothing past the store, absolutely nothing. Um, there's a closet here, and then there is a. You want to show your your little man cave? Okay, right, babe, you gotta go out there. Damn, it got really quiet. Yeah, okay. Scared. I think she's scared to go up here. Rightfully so. These stairs are very dangerous. Like my foot can't even fit on them, um, and it is currently just storage for us right now, and it is hella creepy. There's like just a bunch of extra random closets, 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 another bedroom thing. And then here, there's another random room with another bathroom and then a sauna, which is pretty sick. And the sauna actually works. Whoops. So there's that. Michael's mama got us this advent calendar for our dogs. That's cute. And we're gonna start it. They're gonna be so excited. And then, guys, I'll give you, give you that shot. 
but it's highly confidential. Very, very, very serious um, work-related <laughs> items in there. Toys. So. <laughs> Toys. Collectibles. Collectibles. <laughs> They're collectibles, babe. Open sesame. This is nice. This is hella nice, bro. Right? Look at that. Look at that fancy day 18 is. But isn't it 18 today? Yeah, but should we start with one? Oh, it's like a Harley's breed, German Shepherd. Oh my gosh, there's so many in here. Holy crap. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh. Sit. Are those good? Are those good feet? Sit. He's so cute. Sit. Look at this into that chunk. Oh, good girl. Cornette, sit. Good girl. Good boy. Oh, they like these treats. Oh, Cornette, how's that taste, buddy? How's that one taste, buddy? Huh? How's it taste? Shake. Oh, there's a good, that was not a shake, that was a Shake. Shake. Oh, shake. Good girl. Oh, come on. There you go. Good girl. Nice to meet you. Damn fam, we hope you enjoyed our Nashville home tour. This will not be the only home tour because we will probably be giving you updates quite often. Yes. I would imagine. We'll actually give you an update tomorrow as the carpets come out. Oh, I need to show you guys. Um, I just leased an apartment for like filming and stuff while we renovate here. So I might do a little apartment tour too. Just so we have a place to escape if they are doing pretty strenuous work or loud work that Especially we can Especially when they do our handle. bathroom and bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be nice. Yep, yep, totally. We love you, damn fam. We hope you enjoyed this home tour and we are excited to share uh, more future videos, possibly a little bit of vlogmas. What do you say, babe? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check us out on all of our socials and comment, like, and subscribe if you like this video. And we will see you next time. Peace!